Hi, I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Kieran. And I'm Adam. And you're watching a quick look video from newreview.com. This time it's The Curse on iPad. You can play it on pretty much any iDevice that you have. Um, a quick warning, this contains spoilers. This is the first five puzzles of a puzzle game and you will see the, uh, the answers of how to do them. So, Adam, this will probably help you out if you want to play this game. Yeah, since you have a tendency of getting stuck really quickly on puzzle games. So, what's this game about? A curse? It's a cursed book, and when you open the book at the start of the game, this creepy guy called Mannequin comes out and tells you there are a hundred puzzles to lift the curse, and you probably won't do it because you're an idiot. Oh, charming. I oh, thought nice I, I thought that I had Adam's iPad when I was playing it. When I stopped <laughs> with it. Um, so this is, you have to put the shapes into the, uh, into the, the M. The M. It's like a which game is for you, Mannequin. Like a game you play in so the thing that in, <laughs> interested me about this is the fact that there are variations on the different puzzles. So there's... Well, this is just the first five that we'll talk about. This I want to. I want to know what Adam says to this. So the first riddle. We're here right. all the time, but can't always be seen. The more light there is, the less that we gleam. Adam, answer, go. Um. Light bulb. Eyeballs. So it has to be five letters, as you can oh. see at the bottom. Okay. There. Bulb. Bulb. Oh, shut up. See, as I start to fill it in, if you can't if you get it as it goes. Seen. The more light. Begins with S. Go on. T. S. T. Come on, think. Stars. Oh. Already I'm stuck on this puzzle game. (laughs) Solve the riddle and you can't do it. What's that? Easy mode, number two. Yeah, oh. they, the riddles get a lot harder. I would and have if been people are interested, if you comment on this video, if you want some more answers to some of these pu- puzzles, um, let me know, and I will help you cheat. I will help you cheat. All di- all so this directions. this puzzle, you have to make all directions add up to fifteen. So five right. has to go in the middle because seven, three, and five, seven and three, you can't move. Add five makes fifteen, um, yeah. and then you have to just fill in the rest. So. Right. Uh, do you guys are you into puzzle games at all? I do like oh, a good puzzle game. I'm just I'm not always the best at them. But, yeah, I like don't them. play a lot unless there's like... something like Portal, in which case I, you know, I adore Portal, but I don't I, I don't play a lot. I, I'll admit, which so is that... probably why I'm so stupid. <laughs> don't put yourself down, my friend. No, my, my favourite puzzle game is Zack and Wiki. Did you ever play that? No. Well, so it's really thing good. I've learned from this game is that Toy Studio, who make it, are sadists. Why? Because it's really hard. It's really hard. You know, you know that little animation with the pages. Do you actually do that with the iPad? Do you yeah, you pages? flick across oh, to move the page. I'm a sucker for something like that. I love that. So the idea in this one is you have to get the block with mannequin's mug on it across and down the open slot in the bottom there. Right. And um, the first time I did this, I actually found it really hard. Um, and Which yeah, it? this time, this is without practice, but I um, nailed it. Just Absolutely taking your time, it. though, aren't you? Really? No, look at that. Done it. There you there go. go. Boom. <laughs> Champion. Up yours, mannequin. Take that. <laughs> exactly. Your stupid name. And he's weird. Every now and again, when you meet meet a milestone on on solving these puzzles, he'll come up and there's a little cutscene, and he basically just insults you. <laughs> With this puzzle, there's different buttons you have to push, and the gauges work at different speeds, and you have to get them all to light up at the same time. Right. So the idea is, and how to how to solve this one, is work out what's the slowest. You push that first, then the second slowest. You push that second, and so on. Until so they. Fill up at the same time. So you time. can see there, I almost got it, and this time I get it because I'm ace. Do you not feel a bit like a monkey? A little bit. How much is it? It's at the moment it's 99 cents on the iTunes store, which is a bargain. It's actually it's very cheap, but it's monetized as well. So you can pay for hints, for packs right. of hints in the game, um, and that will help you solve the puzzles. 
So it's very clever because there's a few times where I've been uh, close, kind of tempted. I haven't spent any money on it to solve any puzzles yet, but it is tempting. Just to get to the next one and then be stuck again. Well, any of the first 99 puzzles you can do from the start, but you have to do all 99 puzzles before you can do the final 100th one. Right. Um, a pack of 60 hints, which is the biggest pack you can buy, is $9.99. Right. So what's that, about seven quid? Yeah. Most of game. Most of hints. From a pretty... Four hints is just 99 cents. So I can imagine a lot of people will go, four hints. Four... Oh, yeah, go on then, four hints. And then be like, that's not enough. Cheaters. This is The Curse by Toy Studio. I strongly recommend it. Go buy it, you, you mother lickers. Thank you for playing. Presented by... Noob Review.